Hello everyone. I'm Sel and I'll be presenting this round of unpacking any person dark stuff from Japan. Today I've invited two commentators, Penny Light and Mugi, to help with the round. Please introduce yourselves. Hi, good morning from Japan. I'm Benio Light and I am also a speedrunner of this game Unpacking. And I'm Mugi, I'm here for the language support. Thank you. From here, we start setting up the run. First, we create a new level, or save, and start the game. This song has two big words, one for the, uh, the album color and one for the album owner's name. Kara, what did that choose for the, the album color? The color is going to be purple. Okay. Great. So we did it. The purple shape. Purple shape and make a new white there. And what did that name the album's owner? So the name is going to be Trans Rights. So that's capital T R N S capital R T S. Perfect. Thank you. And thank you to everyone who donated to those bid wars. Okay, let's take a look at Translate Album. After entering Translate's name, we enter her room in 1997. Times the Time starts on opening the box in the middle of the room. After starting, my commentators will take over take talking. Is everyone ready? Yes, I'm, I'm ready. 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 When you're right, ready? Uh, yes, I'm ready. Okay, I start on a suit count of C. C? Two, one, go. Good luck. Good luck. Unpacking is an indie game released in 2021 about unpacking after moving to a new house. The player opens the boxes in the room and puts away anything and everything that comes out and learns about the character from the objects that are being put away. The pixel art and music are very good too. But wait! She's just putting everything on the floor. We will explain why why later. After unpacking everything, Shileo clicks the star in the bottom right and clears the first level. Looks good to me. Time to go play. Trans Ride's first unpacking is complete. The next level is 2004. Here, we meet this speedrun's biggest enemy, clothes hangers. Clothes hangers must be dealt with carefully. This will be important later. From here, the number of rooms increases, and in this level, we unpack the bathroom and kitchen as well as the bedroom. Now, I'll explain the category being run. This run is of any percent, dark sir, all levels. Any percent is beating the game, and all levels is clearing all 8 stages. Glitches are not allowed in this category. The other part of the category is Dark Star. This is the game's hidden route. The main objective of this game is to put away the belongings in the correct places. For example, putting clothes in the closet or toothpaste in the bathroom. However, Dark Sir does the opposite, unpacking everything in the incorrect places instead. When everything is in the correct uh, is in the incorrect place, the Dark Star shows up in the bottom right of the screen. This category obtains the Dark Star in all eight levels of the game. But wait, making a mess is easy. Actually, Dark Star isn't as easy as you think. 
Again, dark star requires everything to be in the incorrect place. If even one thing is in the correct place, the dark star won't appear. In this category, what's wrong is right and what's right is wrong. There's also a lot of freedom on where to place things, and some things just have a lot of places that count as correct. As you can see, most things get placed on the floor and count as incorrect. But if you just put everything on the floor, you start to run out of space to make, make a mess. The order that items come out of the boxes is the same every time, so it is important to memorize and plan ahead where to put things, especially in Dark Star. Two thousand four has been cleared. Uh, I'll tidy up the a bit later. Will a bit later ever come? Next is 2007. We move into a new place again, and this one has four rooms. This time, trans rights moved in with a few other people, and their things are already placed around. Darkstar has one more pitfall to be aware of. Again, Darkstar requires everything to be the, in the incorrect place. This means that not only the things from the boxes, but also objects that are already in the rooms, such as the clothes hangers from 2004, must be replaced incorrectly as well. However, not, ev not every object in the room needs to or can be moved. For example, in the bedroom, in addition to the clothes hangers, the sticky note on the corkboard also needs to be moved. In this speedrun, the runner must memorize the contents of the boxes, what room has things that must be moved, and what things in each room must be moved, down to every last item. One misplaced item not only puts the time in danger, but the run itself as well. Unpacking will highlight any items put in the incorrect place after every box is emptied, but in Darkster, this doesn't help very much. Therefore, the runner must memorize the incorrect placement and place things in those places without messing up at all. We've got some time here. Do you have any donations? Sure thing. Um, I want to let everyone know that we do have another bid war that just opened up a little bit ago for the Hollow Knight run that's coming up a little bit later to either save or nail the Nailsmith. Do we slash the Nailsmith with our nail or leave him to continue his life and potentially find a new purpose? So if you want to bid for that, make sure that you select save or nail with your donation. We have a $25 donation from Crane, no comment. Thank you so much. And a $50 donation from Knox, also no comment. Thank you. We've got a bit more time. A little more time? Have Great. A few other rooms. Yes. Sure, we've got a $50 donation from Anonymous. Thank you so much. We've gotten so much love from Anonymous donors throughout this event. And it has been honestly incredible. Thank you so much. Incredible. Thank you so much. We've got $10 from Sam M. No comment. Thank you. And $25 from Robot's Friend. Thank you. <laughs> 2007 has been cleared. They knew me at uni. They knew what to expect. You don't become a clean freak in a day. Next is 2010. We leave our roommates behind and move into a new place. This is one of the harder stages in Dark Star. There's two difficult points here. One is the fact that anything already in place that can be moved must be replaced incorrectly. This house has a lot of those objects. In this level on, the drawers have things in them, and missing a single drawer leads to a spot the difference situation. The other difficult point is that the cardboard boxes act as an obstacle to place things on the floor. But there's plenty of space on the shelves in the living room. 
accept the problem is that most things placed on the shelves count as correct. Only very few things, such as coasters, remotes, or the cube shaped console, count as incorrect on the shelves. Since the shelves are not very wide, things like blankets cannot be placed on them either. To combat this, Slayer is taking care of the single boxes after before the stacked boxes. This opens up space on the floor to place things and leads to more effective mess making. Let's take a look at what's inside the boxes. The box in, uh, uh, box in the bathroom has a sandwich grill and the box in the kitchen has a bath brush in it. You will never use these in the rooms they show up in. Maybe they were packed in a hurry, or maybe they were just packed in any, any leftover spaces. In normal store, these must be put back wherever they are meant to go, but in dark store, they can just be placed in the rooms they came from. There's some time here, so I'll introduce the runner, Shireo. Shireo runs unpacking any percent, and her PB for dark store in is 38 minutes 46 seconds. She also runs normal star and her PB for that is 39 minutes 39 seconds. We've got some time here again if you have any donations. Fantastic. Be perfect. Yep. Great. Uh, we have $50 from the Lemon Fairy who says. I don't know. This is how I've unpacked every time I've moved. <laughs> this unpacking run is <laughs> great. Thank you, too. runner and couch. <laughs> yeah, big same. Yeah, Thank I you. <laughs> and, uh, you know, donations like that are getting us also towards our next incentive, also for Hollow Knight. Um, if we hit this $4,000 incentive, Insomnia will also be running the infamous Path of Pain in Hollow Knight. And I know that that might seem a long way away, but every little bit will get us closer and closer. So make sure that you're picking those bid wars and those incentives when you are donating. And of course, all of that is getting us closer to this $87,000 milestone to unlock the Celeste D-Side Denny Percent bonus run. Uh, and you've got until the end of the Hollow Knight run, until that needs to be met. We're at $82,208, which is incredible. 94% of the way there to 87,000. I know we can do it. Thank We've you. We've got $50 mm -hmm. from Pimelon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And five dollars from Anonymous. Thank you. Thank you. There's a lot of things to make a mess with here, such as the pictures on the fridge and the plates and the cups in the cupboards or the utensils in the drawers. Sleo needs to make sure to make a mess out of everything without forgetting anything. Even when putting, this th uh, putting things away, t taking things out at first can be st a strategy but here, we for unfortunately won't be putting things back after they get, and take, uh, get taken out. Let's not forget to move the big board behind the boxes too. Would now be an alright time for a couple more donations? Yeah, a quick one would be great. Real quick, we've got $50 oh. from oh. Nolan. Oh. Ooh. Oh. oh. What? Oh! <laughs> Hello. Oh, hangers! Oh, of <laughs> the course. greatest enemy Close of hangers. this game. Hangers. <laughs> Close hangers. I'm, I'm Hogot. I forgot. <laughs> That's okay. This is 
This is a funny part of Dark Star, and this is the trickiest part as well. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, that's 2010. Uh, it's fine. He likes my spontaneity. Roommates have been torrent. Next is 2012. This level looks very familiar, especially with the stickers on the cabinet, purple furniture, and pastel blue walls. And in this stage, there are some interesting items. There are three photos that get taken out of the boxes, which here get placed on the bed. These photos can also be stuck on the corkboard above the bed, but when you do this, the third photo, one of a selfie with someone else, count, counts as incorrect. When you try and put this on the corkboard, what happens? Well, try it yourself and see what happens. The game doesn't explain what happened in the two years since the last unpacking, but instead tells a story through each and every item that gets taken out of the boxes. Take a second to imagine trans rights life up to this point. Interestingly, trans rights returns to this room in 2012 even if she unpacks normally every time. There's some time here again. Are there any donations? There sure are. Ooh, great. <laughs> we have $25 from Mage Danvers. Thank you so much. And I'm very excited about this one. We have five dollars from Yi Dinosaur, who simply says, "Yi." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And don't forget, when you are getting those donations in, to select that Path of Pain incentive or the Save or Nail the Nailsmith bid war. And also just a reminder that today is International Women's Day, which makes all of this incredible speedrunning and community and charity support even better. So thank you to every single one of you, whether you're donating or supporting from Twitch chat or anyone in the tech crews behind the scenes here at Frostbit House. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So, 2012's unpacking is complete. Took a while to get it all back to how I left it. Everything's a mess, but we got a start for it, so everything's okay. In 2013, we moved to a new house with five whole rooms to make a mess in. Compared to every unpacking so far, 2013 requires a more strategic approach to make a mess. It's almost like a puzzle game. The reason for this is that anything placed here will be carried over to the next stage. And they don't just get carried over. Anyone that's moved before knows that you magically gain more belongings after a couple years compared to right after moving. Trans rights and this house are no different, and the next stage will have more furniture in addition to the boxes to unpack. And in this process, some things get put away in more correct locations. In Dark Star, you need to place items while being careful of both, the, both space to place things and the replacement of items in the next level. Here we find an album in on a box, uh, one of the boxes. Chad chose the album color and its owner's name at the beginning of the run. Thank you everyone for your generous donations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The bathroom doesn't get affected by this replacement in the next stage, so most things just get placed on the floor. However, the scale and trash can count as correct in some places, so we need to be careful as to where to put those. If you need a place to put things in a pinch, the bottom side of the screen and the small corners in the floor are all usually safe. Maybe they are blocking a door from opening. Next is the bedroom. 
most items will be placed either on the bed or in the closet. Most of the clothes will be stacked, but some clothes cannot be stacked. For example, you can put shorts on a skirt, but not a cardigan. Even with the same kind of clothes, there is a limit to how much you can stack. The hangers also take a lot of space and have many places where they count as correct, such as inside the closet or under the bed. So let's place them in front of the closet or, uh, or on top of the bed. The oh. picture frame and alarm clock usually don't get replaced in correct places in the next level. So we then uh, put them on the floor inside the closet. Would now be a good time to read a couple donations. Uh, we are finishing the last box in this room, so sure maybe thing. a bit later. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. In the office, we put more th most things on the on and around the desk. The placement here is important. Usually, in the next level, the space above and below the desk get filled with things like a PC, monitor, and mouse. But filling the space around the desk here forces those to be replaced in incorrect locations and removes the need to make a mess in the next level. Of course, care needs to be taken that anything placed here doesn't count as correct, either. The placement of trans rights art supplies takes the replacement, re replace, replacement into consideration as well. Slayer's placement uses a different runner's placement as a reference. Maybe you'll have a quick donation time. We will. We will help. Uh, sure thing. A quick one. $10 from Rowan and MB, who says, Love Darkstar and the NWLC. Thank you, Rowan. Thank you, MB. Thank you. Thank you. Last is the kitchen. First, the table is filled with cutlery and pottery. This prevents the placemats and napkin stand in the next level from being placed correctly. Some things even disappear in the next stage. So we need to be careful when place them. The cabinet under the sink also gets filled. When it's completely filled like this, the spray cleaner and trash bags in the next stage automatically get spread around in incorrect places. At first glance, this can look like it's not very effective, but it prevents both forgetting to take items out in the next level and not being able to open the door because of replacement, so it's very effective. Similar to the table, care must be taken on what get placed in cabinet. The magnets, candelabra, and microwave are good items to fill the cabinet with. This is the last box. That's 2013 cleared. Wasn't planning to entertain much anyway. Trans rights say this, but she she'll be entertaining company very soon. Next is 2015. Even more things show, show up in the house, including new white cardboard boxes with things to unpack. First is the living room. Here, there is potted plants on top of the boxes and new games in the shelves. These are all need to be moved to incorrect places. The big white pot count as incorrect if it's placed on top of the table. Most items get put on either, on either the sofa or the floor. Many items also take a lot of space so we need to make sure that there's enough space for everything. In the bathroom, the first thing to do is take the bath mat out of the bathtub. Everything else, similar to 2013, just gets put on the floor. Of course, the towel goes inside the bathtub.
In the, in the bedroom, the bed moves to the middle, creating space next to the bed. We also check to make sure that there aren't any hangers in the left side of the closet. First, we open the nightstand drawer and put everything that's inside somewhere else. Shoes count as correct if they are put on the base of the bed, so they get put in front of the closet or on top of the bed. The nightstands are also great places to put items. The piggy, tiger, and long dog plushes will count as incorrect even if you put them in the closet since usually you don't put plushes away out of sight. Speaking of plushes, Transrides has had a piggy plush since 1997. As time passes, the plush has been stitched back together multiple times on its head and stomach. It's fun to imagine what has happened in the past 18 years. The office doesn't have any new boxes for unpacking, but we will move the trophies and books from the shelf and the sketches on the cookboard to the floor. Last is the kitchen. The strategic placements in the last level has forced the items under the sink and on the table to be placed incorrectly. The magnets on the fridge go on the counter, the spices above the stove go in the sink and everything else from the boxes get placed neatly on the floor. This time, there's new things to unpack too, such as a steamer and a rice cooker. Just 2015 done. Welcome to the jungle. And jungle it is indeed. Last but not least, 2018. It's been over 20 years since Transrides first unpacking. In the final level, we will unpack and make a mess in 10, 10 different rooms. First the entryway. Some items count as correct when placed near the door, so we try to put things near the stairs. Next is the bathroom. It looks like there's plenty of space to put things, but a lot of items count as correct on the floor, making this a difficult room. The boxes are full of both large and small objects as well. We utilize spaces other than the floor as much as the floor itself. Let's switch gear and introduce the sounds in this game. The soundtrack for the game was written by Canadian composer Jeff Van Dyke. The soft, almost melancholic music set the tone well for the game. Not only does this game have good music, but its sound effects are carefully crafted as well. The total number of sound files for the game is over 14,000. The sound effects are affected by the item and where you place it, but also by even, even smaller factors. For example, a plate can make a different sound depending on whether you place it on the floor or or a placement by itself or stacked. Or a, number, or a number of other factors. Next is the walk-in closet, but after unpacking a few things, we move to the bedroom and open the boxes there instead. The framed art will count as correct if placed under the bed, so they must be placed in safer locations, such as next to the bed. So uh, here, so here we see a family of tiny chickens. The family has been growing throughout the game, and we would love to dis display them, but we put the family under the bed instead. Now we go back to the closet. From here, we will be swapping between screens very fast. Please be careful. The boxes here have lots of clothes in them, as well as our greatest enemy, clothes hangers. The closet has very little space to place items, 
and clothes usually only count as incorrect place and incorrect if placed on the floor. There's nowhere to put the hangers. So we take the hangers to the bedroom and put the hangers and some other hard to deal with items on the floor and bed instead. As the boxes start disappearing, we start to use the drawers in the closet as well. In unpacking speedrun, you are allowed to remap key keyboard inputs as long as macros are not used. Sleo has left and right map to moving between, between rooms and up and down map to camera zoom. This makes moving around much easier. Now it's perfect timing for donations. Sure thing. Uh, we've got $25 from Doozle. Thank you so much. $25 from Alexandra, who says, first time donating definitely won't be the last. And yes, big love and appreciation to all first time donators. $25 from Comment, who says, no anonymous. And $25 from Anonymous, no comment. Thank you so much. Remember, all these are getting us closer to all these incentives and milestones, like the Danny% Percent Celeste bonus game or the Path of Pain in Hollow Knight. So if you want to see the Path of Pain, make sure that you mark that incentive. But everything is getting us closer to that Celeste run. And if you feel like influencing that the main Hollow Knight run, you can also donate to that bid war to either save or nail the nail smith. Uh, right now, save is in the lead with 50 bucks, but nail is in the mix too with 10. And there's still plenty of time to swing that. Or you could get a big donation in right now and just lock it down. It's up to you. We have a $75 donation from Mindless Pit, who says, great event. Thank you so much. This whole event has been fantastic. Thank you. So next is the kids room. In this room, it is very easy to place items in correct places, making this a difficult room in Dark Star. For example, a lot of toys will count as correct if they are placed on the floor. Similar to the 2013 bathroom, the space near the entrance will usually count as incorrect, so most items will get placed near the bottom of the screen. The letter blocks and books will count as incorrect, even on top of the desk, so they will get placed there. The piggy plush from every level shows up here as well this time with a yellow ribbon tune, ribbon, yellow ribbon on. The tiger is here too. We wish we could put them in the baby bed for the baby, but this time they'll just have to sit next to the, next to the door. The second bathroom doesn't have much to unpack, so everything just gets put on the floor. Next is the office. You might have noticed that as the year go years go by, trans rights belongings have evolved as well. For example, her PC in 2004 was a white desktop with a giant CRT monitor. But here, it has become a black desktop with a flatter LCD monitor. Her drawing tablet has also gained a screen. The boxes contain a lot of light blue books and advertisement posters as well. Maybe a trans rights was able to publish her own picture books. Maybe a good time for quick donations. 
happy. Sure thing. Thank this you. is the part of the game that always starts making me very emotional. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Uh, we have a ten dollar donation from Kirby, who says thank you for all that you do. And thank you, Kirby. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you. Thank you. We have twenty-five dollars from Anonymous, who says happy International Women's Day. Thank you. Heck yes. <laughs> In the dining room and kitchen, we will simply unpack everything on the tables and floors as needed. The run is in its ending phases now. If you want to play Unpacking, it is available on Steam, which is a version being used today, as well as all modern consoles. If you don't have a PC or console, it is also available on iOS and Android as an app. Today, we are speedrunning making a mess as fast as possible, but this game itself has no timer to race, and accessibility settings can get rid of incorrect placement making it a low-stress game to play in a normal playthrough. If you want a chill game with cute graphics and soothing music, please try this game out. This is probably the final opportunity for reading donations. Well, then I will jump right in. Ooh. We've got $50 from Groovane. No comment. Thank you so much. And gang, we just passed the halfway point between 82k and 32k. $82,000. $82,508. That is incredible. Thank you to everyone. Uh, we have a $50 donation from Anonymous. Thank you. $10 from Crimson Decoded. And $10 from Airplane. Thank you. Uh, we have got $100 from Windslash. Thank you for that incredible donation. And $50 from Classical Nocturne. Thank you so much for the many amazing runs and laughs throughout the week. Happy to support such a great cause. So excited for Hollow Knight. Let's get that Path of Pain. Less than three. Thank you. Thank you. This is the last room, the living room. If everything's, everything has gone right after the last book has been unpacked, the Darkster show, should show up in the bottom right. Time stops as soon as Serial clicks the Darkster. However, we cannot let our guard down just yet. Even if one, only one item is incorrect, we have to start looking for it in the sea of incorrect items. Let's hope that doesn't happen. So this is the last box. You're looking so good. Yeah. Time. Oh my god! Time! <laughs> GG is to sail! BB! Press, press. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Congrats! Whoa. That's amazing! Amazing! Do you have anything you want to say? Shireo? Yes! Okay! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! But yeah, I congratulations! Congratulations! Thank you. thank you! Thank you! But I want to say thank you to Benny Rarit and Mugi for agreeing to commentate this run. I'm glad I could finish the run without any big mistakes. Last, I want to say thank you to all the frame partners, staff, and volunteers, the Japanese listening team and my fellow unpacking runners for helping to make this run happen. I'm glad to have been able to be a part of this event. Thank you for having us. Thank you. 